small. Uh, I still stand behind Gara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gara, there's a little tiny plant and bone and dirt. Uh, amalgamation is like running towards you and rah, and what do you do? Uh, Punt it into the swamp? I lift my foot and stomp on it. So You stomp it? Yes. Aww. <laughs> uh, make a... Make an attack roll for that? With your foot? <laughs> 1d20 plus your strength, whatever. Yeah, just a strength mm. check. Okay. <laughs> you you smush it. You, you smush it into nothing. It's just a, just a paste of of bones and dirt and uh-huh. bits of plant matter. Now. Oh. I scoop it into a bag. <laughs> and seal the bag very well. <laughs> That was fun. Let's do it again. Okay. I go over there and I put the back on the thing. Oh, no. uh, nothing happens this time. Okay. That's interesting. That's good thinking. I look over it. Hmm. <laughs> This feels disrespectful somehow, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it really would be if that was actually a Ziploc. <clears throat> I'm genuinely torn about this. Because we did just sort of... I what is this? What is this? voice in my head that's keeping me from doing cool stuff. Step down from the altar and not go cut off the paladin's head and take him to the pole. Oh, wow. <laughs> if it grows legs and starts running at me, I'm going to stomp on it, too. Oh, I like the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe someday later. Let's go save this pixie. All right. I'll kind of flank it over to the from this side. We'll go over to the pixie, and while we're walking, I'm going to cast my once per day detect evil and good. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, you detect, yeah, lots of, okay, you detect the pixie, you detect the three, um, shadows within the cracked and craggy stone. Um, I'm going to expand the range just a little bit here. Um, along the top of this, uh, cliff here, you're detecting some, uh, some elemental up here. Ooh. And then from right here, you're detecting a fey creature. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Bigfoot! I think the hag is over there. How far over there in that direction? Uh, oh, can I tell that? I don't actually know the bounds of this. Here, I'll put it in. Uh, Fifteen feet. Fifteen feet. Yeah, I'm. I'm being dramatic. Sure, sure, sure. No, I, I figured you were. I was just looking to see if it specifies. Like distance. 
eh, where the creature is located. But it's up yeah. to Yeah. Since this is sort of a, a gift spell that I got in a special way, it's normal for it to not behave. I'm going to say the the had was kind of just at the range of thirty. Yeah. I mean, this. Is the... Yeah, it can be further if you want. I just. Uh... <laughs> I'd certainly like it to be further. <laughs> hmm. Is it moving? Um. And. Thing. It is getting, uh, it is creeping closer, yeah. Um, all right, Gara, hmm. you're up. Did I keep Do this quickly? Yep, did I keep my great axe or did I? I think I gave that to them. And I know you I mentioned we gave that. that to the ghost. Yeah, I need to turn that off. Otherwise, I'll be using it because it's amazing. Right. Um, I'm going to hold, uh, <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm going to hold, uh, Ray, oh, shit, I was looking at, I thought I had a different spell, um, I guess I'm going to hold Scorching Ray. Okay. Uh, as an action, well, if, if or once once um, Gara proceeds, mm -hmm. I'll hold Scorching Ray. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to frenzy right away, just because it just wouldn't make sense. Okay. Hopefully, we can finish this quickly and then run from back because no. <laughs> I don't know if that's for us. I do oh. have advantage on deck saving throws against things that I can see, i.e. danger sense. So I am going to, I guess, wade fearlessly. Oh, what's that fearlessly <clears throat> move that I've got? Let's see. It is called Reckless Attack. Um... Can I sort what, of what attack? reckless attack? Can I sort of oh, use yeah, reckless attack to just kind of walk in, let the shadows come forward, and make a grab at the cage and try to yank it free from the tree? Or off the rock or whatever. If you're raging you. Wow. If you're raging you, message on strength check in general. Yeah, but I don't. I don't like it as like a just a role-playing element. It doesn't make sense at the yeah. moment anyway. <clears throat> it just feels like I prefer to be attacked before I rage. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. Uh, blah, blah. Okay, Gera, you, you wade in there. The shadows attack you. Mm -hmm. Um, as you approach, mm. I'm holding Scorching Ray for when they appear definitively. Yeah. Uh, you're attacking the shadows? No. Yes. There's okay. three oh, of them, right? You are, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. And once they once they all appear, I'm gonna fire one at each. All right. Um. Let's. Shall we do? Oh yeah. Do we have another map? Just we do initiative, I guess. Um. Shadows collectively. Are we fighting here or on a different? Um. I have the other map set up for the hag place, so okay, okay. Let's, let's do it here. Uh, All right. 
Adam's has 16. Ian has 12. And they appeared? Uh, yes. So, uh, shadows swarm out. You were specifically waiting for the shadows to swarm out. So, yes. launch your scorching rays. All right, yeah. They loudly whine through the air. Just sort of pop uh, all around Garrett, because I guess that's where the ghosts <laughs> are. Uh, just find a bit disorienting. Oh, right. Wow. Was... Was good. Alright. Uh, two of your scorching rays slam into two of those shadows. You can see the the fire. Uh, bite into their, their shadowy material. Um, the other one misses, unfortunately. Um, Oh, and I guess whatever Garrett. This is always a little confusing when like multiple characters have <clears throat> something they do that triggers an issue, but it's maybe not necessarily the Yeah. That's why I figure I'll just kind of do an action that isn't necessarily a text. Right, right. It, yeah, it's weird. I don't, I don't know which, which of ours have to first. I guess it depends on how quick the, uh, quick the ghost there, how quick the shadows are. Because, mm -hmm. like, you triggered the shadows by walking forward. One waiting for you to pull the page off. Maybe you did. Or tried. Just stop talking. Working Spencer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shadows are upon you. Actually, Garrett, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, make a make a strength. Uh, make a strength check mm -hmm. against the. The cage that the the pixie is inside. Oh, it's just a check. Okay. The uh, that that <clears throat> ray that missed might have burnt you a little bit. If that if that makes you angry. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I missed on purpose. Nah. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, that, that is uh, that is enough to uh, to wrench the the cage open. Um, you you grab this little bars and rip it apart, and the pixie, um, very grateful, will kind of cling to your your sleeve um, as you rip. I kind of shake uh, my immediately. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So immediately, well, I guess I'll do it. Because I think I know what happens next. Go ahead. Oh. So. Uh, sorry, just setting up, setting up shadow yeah. tokens. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to my desktop now. Mm -hmm. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Right, can you? <laughs> Are you getting 
images for these guys too. No, I'm okay. just gonna use. I I would. No, it's fine. It's, it's um hard yeah. to set these up on the fly. Usually I'm. Anyway, uh, okay. Okay, so the three shadows swarm you. Uh, one of them manages to latch onto your throat and start to drain you. Doing oof, nine necrotic damage. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a save to resist that. Let me check. Add to. Yeah. And, oh. I think it's just like if it hits or not. You're right. You're right. Whoa. I was confused by the otherwise first because I was like otherwise. Otherwise what? Like, that seems to suggest the same, but I think it's if you don't die, <laughs> otherwise it lasts. Right. Oof. Okay. Your strain score reduced by 1d4. Okay. <clears throat> Do I need to roll that? No, I'll roll that. Or one. Okay, only one. <laughs> <laughs> Pick one. I will pick Does that the bring one. your modifier down? Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure how to lower it, but... I mean, it brings your score down, not your modifier. Oh. Oh, that's actually good. I mean, it might still bring it down. That would be fucking crazy, because then, then you could you could have ended up with a... Minus one on the first <laughs> strength drain. Right. The target strength score is reduced. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess it swings. Via, you held your turn, but that yeah. was the okay. Via, it's your turn. I think. My turn. All right. I'm immediately gonna start inching up this way to like and and sort of beginning to indicate that we're 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 going to be heading out in this direction. <laughs> sort of as we fight. Um, not you know, sticking around or going this way. At least that's 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 what she's indicating. <laughs> um, um. Uh, via as as you do that, uh, you know that that fey presence you were sensing over this way has now moved to there. Uh, all right. So yeah, I'm actually going to do a full speed this way. Am I am I drawing very close to this uh, to this shadow as I do? Uh, these shadows are, are clustered around Gera. All right. Um, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to. I'm going to begin actually to to work my way around to the other side of Gera, which I know where the space is kind of crazy here. So I mean, this is okay. I'm moving myself here to just indicate that. Getting to, yeah. to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Right. And I'm going to. Can I? Are these these two are lined up? This one is not. Could I try to push this one to be lined up with the others? Okay. Sure, you can try. Yeah. I don't know if it actually can be moved for something. Let's see. Right. That's my. Because it's a ghost. <laughs> that's my problem. I'm like, okay, how do I swing a sword at this thing? Uh, and as that's happening with my other hand, I'm I'm trying to pull some a rock or something if I can find anything over here. Or I guess over here, this is the cliff side. I just try to pull it, yeah. whip it past Gara at that speed, and try to hit the bottom one. Okay. If it gets pulled, the next one. If it doesn't get pulled, it's the top one. If it misses both. Okay. So the shadow um, definitely failed the strength 
save to resist your tongue. So it needs so it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, DC fourteen. Alright. So the first one takes uh Nope, that's the wrong thing. Ignore that. Twenty bludgeoning damage. And and the rock stops there. Okay. All right. Man, that's a lot of damage. Is that one of the ones that got um, <clears throat> scorching raid, or the one that didn't? Hmm. <clears throat> that's a lot of damage for um. Catap- yeah. It's 3D, it's 3D8. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that one, that first shadow there is now just like a bare wisp of shadowy tendril. It is very beat up. I'm going to stay on that side, just sort of just out of melee with the, uh, the shadows. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, Gera, we're back around to you. Yeah. Uh, pulling the pixie free from the cage, I look at it and sort of shake my hand like I was going to shake off a grasshopper or something, but then realize, oh, wait, this is what we were after. So I'll quickly grab it with my other hand and kind of tuck it into my shirt, except I don't have a shirt. Um, I'll tuck it into my belt (laughs) and then turn and start stomping away. Oh, okay. Pat, after you, of course, but yeah. 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 Okay. Sort of just striding past the shadows as they are. Uh, Using your action to disengage? Yeah, yeah, essentially. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the wrong uh, keyboard button. Something. Trying to do half squares and I keep pulling up to start with you. <laughs> I'll assume something like that. I nudge Gara and point to the point to the very cool potential shot of all the ghosts rushing towards us. Uh, <laughs> takes me a moment, but then I'm like, oh, oh. And I'll give him you a, a, a very emphatic nod. And and I'll start to smile. Alright. Wow. Uh okay. Uh Oh, um, the one, the one wounded one is going to disappear back into the shadows of rock and disappear. Um, you guys are going to heat, uh, actually, via, hey, minus one perception, that changes anything. Okay, Via, what do you do? All right. Um, <clears throat> oh, so they're all retreating? Or... or... <clears throat> Are they I'm... all retreating? You're, uh, you're breaking up again, unfortunately. Oh, no. Not to Come me. On.
Can you, am I, can you hear me all right now? Yes, you're, you're right, thinking now. Are they all retreating? Um, the, the two, the other two are not retreating. Um, it looks like they, they might be going to chase you back. Okay. They haven't had a turn yet, though. Okay. Okay. I guess I was confused by Um, I'm going to take a few steps forward. Can I get close enough to where they're all within 20 feet of me? Uh, if you want to, sure. Okay. Uh, or at least the two that are still around. And I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. Right. 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 Is failure for both of them. So the shadows are are hit by your your thunder wave, um, but just like the like the scorching ray, it doesn't seem to quite hurt them mm -hmm. as as much as you would have thought. Does it, it does it push them though? Yes, it would. It would yeah. push. I just walk back away from them as far as I. Um, and I, I guess I'll, I might as well push one, push the closest one away from the feet if uh, I can. Uh, so they the get, so they get pushed away. Uh, yeah. Thunder wave, and then the other one. Yeah, they have like a minus two to their strength. I'm gonna say <laughs> Okay, can I'll push the one. closest one five feet back. Yeah. Uh, um, you guys are going to hear a cackle from right about here. Um. Oh no. That was my last spell. The, uh, a, in, in, in the, in the, the frozen trees, just a little distance away. You're not even sure how she managed to get that close without you guys seeing her. But, um, a old crone with her eyes glowing with energy will reach out a clawed hand and, um, clutch her hand towards you guys. Um, and both of you uh, make a charisma saving throw. All right. Well, let me see how this works. I'm just looking to read it. You are hit by attack. Gara is good at charisma. Failed. Yeah, so let me see if I fail first. Um, is that a failure or a success? I think I get to. I think I do get to learn if that succeeds or fails before I. Ooh! Okay. Wow. Um. What is this? You guys have to learn if that's a success wow. or a failure. Okay. Before, before um, I use arcane deflection. You that that would that would. Succeed, guys. Yeah. All right. Um, you you guys are gonna feel those those amulets that you've been wearing um grow cold for a second, <sighs> but um the the hag grips her hand even tighter, and that that coldness fades away, and she uh will snarl, and um. She will urge her shadows um, to to move towards you guys again. Um, they will. Uh, they will. They will move as far as they can. They will dash. 
over the stone and around trees towards you guys and get uh, w within within comfortable melee distance uh, to, to the two of you. Okay, Gera, you're up. Yeah. If they're in melee distance, I'm going to yell, Expecto Patronum! And then pull my sword out and kind of do <laughs> a whole twirly thing. And I'm pretty proud of myself for that charisma saving throw, so I'm going to just kind of like... That was good. Click, click, picture, picture, and then swing the sword and try to take out this one that's nearest me. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is It is full-on hero swing downwards towards the shadow. Make your... Oh, wait, that's a long make bow. Let's go. Long sword, two-handed. There we go. <laughs> well, a, a 23 uh, definitely hits for nine damage. All right, you... Cleave the shadow clean in half, and uh, half of it wreathes and dies, and the other half of it is still alive. Cool. Uh, Via, you're up. Um, how many ranges do you have left, by the way? All of them. All of them? Oh, well, first I'm going to just kick Gara real quick. Ah! Can I go ahead and <laughs> retcon a bonus action to pull up rage? <laughs> okay, sure. Hooray! I mean, that was a short rest. <laughs> I assume short rest is what. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't. I don't forget rage usually, but admittedly, I. Almost always forget reckless, so yeah. it's, it's, it's normal. Yeah. So that would have done two more damage than your nine. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I would, I would, I would say let's let's have the attack and then the rage, just because. Okay. Just to make it fair. Okay. Uh, I think on the first like early on in critical role. The, they started like writing Hunter's Mark on the chalkboard behind, on like a big chalkboard. <laughs> 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 it still didn't, it didn't work. They yeah. forgot everything. Um, oh, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is via it is your turn. Oof, spell. Let's go. Uh, Uh, is one of the or, uh, they they rush into melee with both of us? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm gonna first try to push the one that's close to me off of me. Oh. Ooh. Do I? Can I? Do I know if these things, if like ghostly undead creatures, would be sort of resistant to cold? Um, it's a fairly common thing among undead. These ones okay. in particular are resistant to cold. Yes. All right. Well, would I would I would I be able to tell if it's resistance or immunity before I attack? Or because I could make an arcana check, or I could just not know. Um, you can make an arcana check real quick. Okay. Uh, what would you like to know? I'd like to know if they are resistant or immune to cold damage. They are resistant to cold damage. Okay. And they're resistant to fire, which I already want. So either of my cantrips. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to... Um, uh, I'm gonna try to push the one that's closer to me away. Uh, my the bonus action, telekinetic. Ooh, it doesn't work. Yeesh, it latches onto trees and brushes and resists your telekinetic movement. All right. Yeah. Well, then I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna attack the other one. Then. 
because it's oh, not okay. playing melee with me. Uh, with Ray of Frost. So I'd have disadvantage on this. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your, good at being in close quarters like this. Your Ray of Frost goes goes wide and hits a tree, unfortunately. <laughs> the tree uh, turns to ice and shatters. Yeah. Poor tree. It's cold enough already. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everybody in that in twenty feet of that tree takes piercing damage from the exploding splinter. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Grizzlies come thundering out. Via, of is that crush. is that it for your turn? That's it in my turn. <laughs> okay. I uh, the hag, um, seeing that her her enchantment with the talismans uh, failed will give a little cackle and will disappear from your field of view. Oh, it's shit. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was going to take off the talisman. Oh, that's okay. Maybe she won't try to. She fades. Do I still sense her? With my, because my spell's still going. Uh, I haven't taken any damage. Let's see. If you still had it up, yes, you you would still be able to sense her. Although, oh no, I did I ritualize? Did I cast it before? No, no, no. I don't. I do not have comprehend languages. I do have detect evil and good because I cast it on our way over here this time. And we didn't we didn't stop and talk to the to the pixie this time. Okay. Then so I think I still have it. Okay. Cool. Uh, I haven't you haven't used any concentration. Yes. Do I sense her? Yes. She's still there. She is moving just to kind of around and to the north a little bit of Gera. She's. I, 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 I like follow her with my eyes and I, I like tap Kara and point and say, She's mm. there. She's invisible. Mmm. Uh if I were to make an attack, I would assume I'd have disadvantage. Uh I think invisibility is like technically plus it, it would be it would be really hard, yeah, to hit her invisible. Um, yeah, I didn't you necessarily. Try. Mean. She she didn't take the hide action yet, or the the stealth action yet. So she's technically not hundred percent hidden. I'm not hundred percent sure about the rules for invisibility. I, I think usually usually people do disadvantage. To hit okay, someone all right, who's, sure. who's disadvantage. Visible. Yeah, I'll I'll try it. I'll make a swing. Uh, one sec. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make an attack. Just a wide. Full arms extended swing, and I probably missed. Nope. Yeah. Wait, are both of these shadows still here, or did one of them get chopped? Uh, okay. those are still there. Okay, it was the third one that had like fully yeah. fled and then come back. Okay. okay. It, it, the third one is, is still hiding in the. Well, I thought Gara chopped one. I did. It's half of one still floating there. It's basically okay. a half of a shadow. So. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I thought Garrett killed one. All right. Yeah, I'll extend my swing and spin around and try to take out more shadows as a, okay. as, a as a frenzy action. Nice. All right. <sighs> no, oh, man. man, it is. It is not enough. You hit bushes and and trees in your whirlwind of destruction, but no, <laughs> no hat. All right. All 
Uh, so that was good. V wait, had been. Then go. Okay, VH, your turn. Alright. Um, I'm gonna try the same thing again. I'm gonna try to push the the shadow that's on me. Still sort of trying to get rid of the shadows and flee. Um, oh. I guess I don't need to put that every time. Oh! Didn't we buy a flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna. Just back up anyway. I'll take I'll take the attack of opportunity. Okay. I'm gonna back out of its range. Um, and once I'm out of its range, I'm cast Ray of Frost. Uh, I'm going to use a reaction to deflect that. Which causes it because my AC is fifteen, so now it's seventeen. Okay. That will that will work. And with the other hand while I'm doing that, like that hand waves over my body, and the other one comes under it, casts Ray of Frost. Uh, and this is... We'll miss. Uh, there, yeah. There's uh, too many things happening. At once. It makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to use my full move to get back. Uh, <laughs> Oof. Was one of those right. attacks against me? No. Oh. From the shadow? No, it was just a reaction. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there are two strength drain. No, 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 no. One of those is a strength check, and the other is strength drain. Oh. Yeah. Similar names, but, um, no. Strength save against my shove. No, it's alright. The... The shadows are going to go after the... Sort of the closest... Uh, thing... Living thing they can find, which is... Uh, Gera. They're going to team up... Onto you. For once, it would almost it would actually be kind of better if they were attacking me. Because mm. my strength doesn't matter. Right. Actually, you know what? It does matter because I, I, I might die very quickly. Because I have minus two to strength already. Oh, yep. So I only need, I only need to take seven strength damage to, to just die. Okay. Alright, Gary, the shadows are advancing on you. 17, Oof. 20. Oof. Oh. Mm -hmm. Four necrotic. Ten oh. it. And minus three to your strength score. Oh my gosh. Oh. How do um, we switch roles, but still Daniel's character is gonna be the one to to <laughs> to die and let's right. No. Uh you said four, right? Fourteen three. three total. You only take three strength damage, luckily. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm kinda keeping track of how much strength you're losing, so when we when this is over, we will restore you to full okay. strength. Um theory. I don't think I actually subtracted for the first necrotic attack that they made. I, oh, okay. I thought you did. Cause... No, because I was at full health just now, and that kind of is... Full health? Oh, health, health. Right, right. right. Yeah. What was that? You did subtract your strength. What was that damage? The first one was like... Nine or something. Yeah, it was nine. Yeah, early on, I think the first drain strength... Uh... Uh, was like... It was like nine damage. Yep. I'm looking at it right now. I see it. Shoot. Yeah, nine across. Ooh. -hoo. 
Do you have a healing potion? I, did don't, I give you. I don't did remember. You? I'm gonna look really fast. I did give you one, but I don't know if you used it yet or not. Yeah. I do have one. Uh, bonus action to use it on yourself, but it's an action to actually feed it to someone else. Yep, well that's just as well. Because I would take it on a bonus action. Down far enough. Uh, Who's after the shadows? Uh, oh boy, okay. Uh, Via, you're gonna feel that Fey presence creep closer to you. Oh shit. I've already used my reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna turn towards it. Okay. And from invisibility, this green, this hag is going to strike at you with advantage because she's invisible yeah not that i can do with that holy yeah. shit uh, oh my god uh she will cackle and say i must make an example of you since you invaded my home and freed that pixie, and laid to rest that wonderful wailing ghost that was so melodic. <laughs> I need to make a concentration. Um, before uh, that goes away, do I know where the pixie went? She's in my belt, uh, but... Yeah, you, you would have sent the pixie oh. somewhere on, on Gareth. Uh, still in the cage, but the cage is open, right? No, I took um, her out. I took her out and I tucked her into my belt. Okay. Sort of a yeah. It, it was. It was. It was. A, it was like pretty much like wrenching open the the bars of it, and the pixie kind of darted. I'm gonna ju just. Can I? Can I recall in the moment a word for pixie dust that that she would understand, or maybe pixie dust translates. I'm not sure. Um, I, see, I do speak Elvish, if that helps at all. <laughs> I'm gonna say in, in in this case, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna shout out that word for pixie dust, uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it my turn? Uh, let's see. Um, had Gera Vera. It's back to Gera. Oh yeah, and I'm just a concentration check. Alright. I still have detect going good. visible again. I'm going to disengage and attempt to run back toward this altar over here. Probably the worst place I could go, but I just need to get some distance at the moment. And I will okay. and I will chug that uh, healing potion as well. Okay. Uh, roll... 2d4 plus 2? I think that was it, yeah. Uh... Nice. About as good as you could have got. Oh. Yep. Uh, Via, you're up. This hag is cackling. She just raked her claws across you and took out about more than half your health. You're bloodied. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I see the, uh, the, I, I, I get my, 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 uh, d detect evil and good is still up, so I can probably still sense the pixie. 
Uh, yes. Um, as, let's see. As you shouted that out, um, the, the pixie would have um, would have pointed towards the hat. Oh. Hmm. I look. I quickly. I'm looking over the hag, like any obvious pixie dust. <laughs> that's a big sack that says pixie dust on the side. <laughs> um, like, like like a like a cartoon bag of money. Uh, you you can make a perception check. All right. Is this like my action or bonus action or something? Uh, no. It's it's just a check. Hey. Okay, um, yeah, there, there's there's a little tiny bag, um, kind of dangling from her belt that, um, has a little bit of, like, glowing golden powder on, on the very, like, uh, edge of the opening. Um, you think that might be the, the, it definitely doesn't look tag like Yeah. It, it looks <clears throat> fake. I'm going to do the hand motions that, I, that, 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 that I've done a bunch of times whenever I do basically every turn <laughs> when I shove something. Um, but then I focus it inward and try to shove that bag off of that, like five feet in this direction. Ooh. Ooh okay. Just, just wrench it off the belt. Because it has enough force to like shove a creature away. Separate okay. Um, what? Can we make like a spellcasting check or something? Let's contest um, the hag's wisdom versus your... That makes sense. Like like her yeah, ability to foresee what I'm doing. Yeah. Is my intelligence? Versus your, your spellcasting ability. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, you start to do that, but she immediately notices you that that bag starts to twitch on her on her belt. So she reaches down the claw and grabs it and waggles a finger at you. No, no, no. That's Auntie Iron Tooth now. <gasps> Uh, still your turn, if you have an action, if you want to do something. Yeah, my action, I most certainly do. Uh, um, oh, shit. Do I use my action for a healing potion, or do I... Yeah, I'm going to use my action for the healing potion. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Um, 2d4 plus 2... That's the end of my turn. All right. I try to angle myself away from the <laughs> shadows. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Ah. Uh... Oof. Um, while I I reached on my pouch to to get the uh, to get the belt to get the uh, healing potion, can I also put a hand on my dagger? I'm not going to do anything with it this turn. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's an item interaction. You can you can do that. All right. I'm just loosening it from its. So. Holster. Um, the hag uh, is going to um, take another step forward and take another swipe at the the juicy spellcaster in front of her. Oof, there's nothing I can do. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. This mm. might have been un unbalanced. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all right. Session four. Session four. <laughs> uh, all right. You're going to die here and be another tragedy that lightens my days. Um, the... The... What? The one shadow that badly wounded is going to retreat back into the lock. Um... The one shadow that is remaining is just going to, um, uh, how? Oh, what? Gonna cheer, cheer on. <laughs> okay, um, the shadow is going to slither up to you, Gara, mm. and attempt to grapple you, hold you in place. Um, right. Let's see if you can beat a nine. You have advantage. <laughs> Is this a saving throw or just a check? Uh, ch check? Athletics, I think. Yeah. With advantage. Oh, athletics I have, sorry. Seventeen. Athletic. No problem. Well, 21 even better. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, no, uh, no problem. No problem with that. Yeah, it, it doesn't just, manage to grapple you. Yep, yeah, I just kind of sweep it aside. Yep. Okay, Gary, your turn. Uh, um, I assume the hag is focused solely on Vea. Yeah. Can I rush her from behind and try to backstab? You can get up to her in 30 feet of movement. Yeah, that's basically a full square's worth, so I'm running about 15 feet to get in range according to this graphic graphical scale. Sure. <laughs> It's basically theater of the mind, right? In terms of right. distance. Right. Right. And it's just a straight up shove into the back. Ooh. Hmm. Do you have advantage? Right, was that reckless? Uh, yes, I am taking the reckless one. It sounded pretty reckless. Yep. <laughs> um, despite that, um, oh. her, her skin turns your sword aside. I'll do a spin in place and, um, what is the other one called? Yeah. The exhaustion uh. thingy, uh, frenzy. Oh yeah, yeah, frenzy. Yeah, still, and still reckless because you, you try you again. At the start of your turn. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Twenty-one. Twenty-one will will <laughs> pierce the the back of her her back. Yeah. Uh, okay. Five. Okay. All right. I'll queue up one more exhaustion. Uh, Can't do that too many more times. Uh, uh, bl blood will drip, drip, drip down your sword, but uh, she will sneer back over her shoulder at you. Go. Is that all you can do, warrior? Uh, Via. Yes. Uh, I'm going to, when she turns around, uh, I'm just gonna try to cut the just cut the bag open. <laughs> okay. Um. What? 
I could make a dagger attack. It's very that's very stupid because I'm worse at daggers, but I can do that. Make a yeah. Make it make a dagger attack. Cool. All right. Hey. Man. Okay. Um. That would that would beat her AC. What what's it? Deception. Ah, uh, no, okay. She she notices you going for the bag, but it's a second too late as it as it snags the material and Are you trying to cut it off or just I'm trying to cut the bag open. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um I fig I figure it makes sense that just perceiving it wouldn't stop it. Yeah. I guess yeah, I guess yeah. the uh, the other thing was like a sort of magic. I had to like, there was a wind up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh go Golden glowing dust bursts out of the bag. It coats, you know, her. It like clings to her, her skirt and like flows down onto the snow and onto you. It is glowing golden dust is like everywhere. Right. Okay. Um, I still have my bonus action. Um, I'm gonna. Just try to shove her back away from me a little bit towards Gara, sorry. I guess it would he's she's already in melee with Gara, so just off to the side of Gara a little. Mm -hmm. Um so let's throw DC fourteen. She has well, a, she has yeah. insane strength. Like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's the end of my turn. Yeah. Uh Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I gotta roll for Pixie. Hang on. Um, Okay, um, rolling shadow. Shadow will sneak up behind your back, Gera, and just like plunge its shadowy fingers into your, your back and try to choke you. Oh mm. my god. Mm. Really? These are CR one half creatures. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm in the six seconds where you know I'm, I'm, my mind is racing and looking at pixie dust. I know pixie dust can be consumed to create magical power. I'm trying to formulate in my head: Can I consume some of this pixie dust and cast a spell? But that's just that's just where my mind's at right. <laughs> God. And I'm looking up at Gara getting absolutely eaten. Uh, and I'm contemplating a very selfish, de selfish decision. Uh, uh, the hag um, is torn between two equally bloodied targets. Um, uh... She's gonna swipe a claw at you, Gera, since you actually managed to prick her in the back. 21? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm dead. Unconscious, not, not dead. No. Yeah. <laughs> at least you didn't get knocked unconscious by the shadow, which would be worse. Uh, right. 
suppose you still could be killed, quote unquote, by it. Yeah. But. All right, Gera. As you fall, the pixie is going to wriggle out from your belt mm -hmm. um, and uh, see that glowing patch of. Uh, Do I have time to to grab a fistful of it on my turn before? Before she uses it all, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. She, okay. uh, the the pixie is going to crawl forward around the hag, uh, reach out for some of that pixie dust, and um, going to cast or at least try to cast. Um, uh, entangle on the hag. So, uh, brambles and vines are going to try to wrap around the, the hag. Um, All right, the vines and um, brush will tangle around the hag, and she will not be able to fight it for at least one one turn here. She is she is entangled and restrained by the brambles. Uh, Via, you're up. All right. Um, do I get the sense that consuming a large amount of this pixie dust? would sort of allow me to cast a spell? Yes, it would. I'm gonna stand over Gara for a second and look down at him. He's been, he's, you know, sort of the best friend I've had in a really long time since I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, but I'm gonna, my, my face will harden and I'll pick up the sword, his sword. Oh! And, uh, I'm gonna ball up a bunch of that pixie dust and throw it on the ground and it turns red as it billows out into a big red puff of smoke until invisible 30 feet this way. Oh, wait, you're casting it on Gera? No, I'm casting it on myself. Oh, okay. I'm taking his sword and running away. Oh. Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I look. I look at him like I, I look at him for a moment, like obviously very heartbroken, and I like there's like some self-loathing there, but then I just sort of harden over and take a uh, sword and teleport away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice building, dude. <laughs> Your last words. Nice. <laughs> Wait, did you actually get around to snorting a line of pixie dust? I yeah. genuinely thought about saying that that's what I do. Uh. <laughs> like one too many things. <laughs> I, I, wow. Okay. What I was going to say is when the bag popped open and it built everywhere, I was going to say, like, before the end of my turn, can I just, like, touch a little bit with my pinky and sort of, like, like opium, to sort of like hold it up to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, pixie dust will let you, uh, with with one use of it, cast um, any spell that a pixie could innately cast with. Oh. Okay. Oh, I guess I could do misty step then. If, wait, is that? I mean, it's very uh, fake. Very. See. I guess. Dancing lights, confusion, detect good and evil, detect thoughts, dispel magic, entangle, fly, phantasmal force, polymorph, 
sleep. Oh shit. Uh, can you read those again? Oh, polymorph. Pictures can do polymorph. How I'll can turn I... myself into a bird with with the uh, with the uh, with the um, uh, flyby flyby trait, so I don't okay. get opportunity attacks. An owl. All right. Yeah. And fly away. Fly away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Gara. No. Nah. Oh God, this is this is far too familiar. <laughs> if this is how this one shot ends, we've got a great hook for a next chapter. Yeah. <laughs> the revenge yeah. of <laughs> the revenge of Ganoj. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm wondering. I'm honestly wondering if Vea comes back because I'm not 100 percent sure that she does. Well, that was a pretty amazing way to end. Uh, okay. I'm sorry uh, you died again. <laughs> it was, it was heroic both times, at least. Uh, okay, Gara, make a death saving throw. Yep. Oh, right. We're not out. Alright. Um... This is to decide whether you become a zombie or a, <laughs> a magic doll. What is my... What am I trying to uh, beat? Is it like... The it like hag a is going to... Uh, glance down at you and um, cackle a little bit, Gara, mm. and then just kind of auto off down, down this way. Yeah. Um, uh, saying that she'll be watching if if you survive or not. It'll be an interesting tragedy, I'm sure, and uh, we'll. Make your th uh, okay. That's one death save. You can keep rolling here. Yeah. Am I trying to get over half? Like above ten is a success. Okay, that's a save. That's a failure. Okay. Keep going. Bam. That's a set. That's pass. Bam. That's a oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It all comes down to this. I know, right? Did the pixie did the pixie come with me or stay with Gara? The pixie would have stayed with Gara. Um can she stabilize you? Um uh, Does Polymorph work on an unconscious creature? Oh <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Turned you into a T Rex and would, if she just turned you into a dove, that would be like he would just assume that you're dead. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> a dove flies out of Gara's well, I was gonna say his clothes, I guess his pants. It's the only clothes. Uh, you, uh, it's a little less symbolic. And you just fly out of a pair of pants. <laughs> and the spell has no effect on shape changes or creatures with a zero hit point. Oh. One more death save. The last. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, damn. Oh. Tragedy. <laughs> you you feel your spirit leave your body. And then you feel it, and, and then I feel it sucked back in as the shadow takes over, and I rise as a zombie. I didn't even leave you with your sword. Just, uh, <laughs> just... nope, nope. Yeah, uh, Vega does not look back, does not check up on the pixie, just oh. flies back to the village, stays the night, and then like starts heading back to the city. I think. Yeah. Man, that's all right. Maybe someday she'll come back, but she's at the moment not looking back. 
Yeah. Uh, Gera, as as the as your spirit fades away, mm-hmm. um, you sort of flash forward in time to the hundreds of your followers on Baldergram <laughs> and so forth that are mourning your passing. Right. But your spirit fades away. Ouch. Hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get one last one last nail in the coffin, huh? Uh, <laughs> man, that's that was good. That was, yeah, good. That that was, was good. good, you guys. Thank you for uh, for playing this. Uh, I mean, thank you for running it. I'm sorry I didn't get to a chance to run it in. Well, I guess I'm not sorry because I got to play it without reading it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. A I good might one. still run it on uh, uh, digitally. Um, but it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I am. And I really enjoyed the third. I, I don't think you made it. You made it hard. I don't, I don't, it's, it's hard to say if you made something too hard, because, like, it's only, it's, in some way, it's, it's only too hard if we fail, which I guess we kind of did, but we failed elegantly, so, uh, too hard is, like, a weird sort of, it's, it's hard to make a call sometimes, because, like, you could say that the, that the shambling mound was too hard, but then there also was, like, a key. Right, right. And the if pixie dust, the pixie dust, if we had gotten that sooner. Might have. It was at least very clear that this was not that like we weren't supposed to fight and kill the hag. So like that's you did you did your diligence there. Am sure. I right about that? Was the hag like nearly insurmountable, or could we have killed the hag if we focused? Um, as written as as a as a party of two. Yeah. Third level characters, uh, n- no, you're, you're you're not gonna gonna kill it. Um, mm. And then the hag plus the shadows uh, was yeah. obviously a bit much. Um, right. Yeah, the hag was more of of like a possibly an eventual antagonist. Um, I, I was imagining like. I thought maybe we'd come and fight the, the the shadows and then like sneak in to get the p- pixie dust, but that was obviously foolish because like she was right there, at her cabin's right there. Right. Um. Yeah. And then I started off the combat with actual fireworks, so. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Perhaps it was a mistake to have the hag actually come after you guys, but you guys took a few, like, you guys camped here for quite we, a while. We camped here for quite a while, and we, we fucked with her. We killed her little doll. We were poking around her weird altar. Like, we were a nuisance. Yeah. Um, and, 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 you, and you got rid of the ghost that uh, was so nice with the wailing and the yeah, tragic. yeah. So. Yeah. But no, I, I, I am very. I, I I don't know how you feel, Daniel, but I am very happy with, at least my like character arc. Like, yeah, I, I didn't necessarily anticipate this character to have an arc, but like right writing in that that that. Uh, I I don't know. I could see this character from here just returning to magical like study and stuff, mm-hmm. and just kind of becoming again what she sort of used to be, which is like, you know, I, I mean, in my character background, she like apprenticed for a very prestigious wizard right. um, who didn't really, I mean, he was like a good teacher, but also just kind of, I don't know, he never really encouraged his, his students. He had a clear favorite. Um, and the whole the whole thing was very cutthroat, um, and I think she's just gonna go back to that because the one the one sort of adventure in like being an adventurer and doing heroic stuff went very badly. Mm. Right. 
So I think she's gonna just gonna return to that for. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about Gera's backstory. It was kind of just thrown together, but I don't know. It seemed to be okay, and the, the fun of the whole social media <laughs> side yeah. quest I, is just kind of stupid love... but fun. Yeah, yeah. I think he, in some way, he kind of got what he wanted. He, 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 he he's gonna be a martyr, right? <laughs> Well, that's the thing, I, is the camera, I, I, the sword is in the back. Yeah. The, the camera's in the sword, and you have the sword at the moment, so I wonder what's going to yeah. actually take place there. Right, right. I think I'm not going to use it for a thing. I'm just going to put it up on a shelf, because mm -hmm. I, I fucking hate myself. <laughs> I don't want to, like, like, I feel very bad about taking it. <laughs> um, uh, but it's probably just going to annoy me. But right, like, like I'll be just going about my business. Every time I walk past it on the shelf, it'll be like, "Why am I on the shelf? I can do something with me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you know you want to take me out. Try it out. Wait, 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 wait. The sword actually <laughs> can can move. Oh my god! Oh, can it? Why did you? When <laughs> did that happen? Covering. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I think eventually I'm going to start taking pictures of like magical experiments and stuff like very like satisfying potion brewing, you know, Ooh. like, like Instagram with food, like in what, like Instagram with food. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like there's all these there's like an Instagram. There's like a pool boy Instagram where he just. <laughs> does satisfying footage of like salt pouring into a pool or something not salt but like chlorine like a, any job you can make you can make satisfying slow motion footage of it so ah, i'm gonna start doing that i'm probably gonna get banned for for doing like a for for doing one of those but it's a dead body that i'm <laughs> necromancing or something oh, but, but you know I I love the this the social media angle that you guys brought to it. Um, I I added the hag has her own. Account. Yeah, that was great. I I genuinely loved that that we got followed. <laughs> that was so good. I, like legitimately good foreshadowing, but but put into into our language. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, and if she ever does come back, I'm trying to think of like how and why that. Um, oh, certainly she's gonna go to the to the to the uh, to the dad. I forgot about that. Yeah, she's gonna go back to. Yeah, that's the first thing she does. Is she she flies back to town as an owl, stays one night, and then like starts heading back uh, does she head back alone or does she is that is that too stupid she might head back alone um she might get to try to hire a guide but she won't try for too long um, and the last guy tried to kill us so mm -hmm. now, did the pixie um, but, escape? oh yeah how did the pixie do Huh. I no, nothing keeping the pixie here. No. I I I don't know. You might have to keep out keep watch for that pixie. Uh, oh, maybe the pixie comes and convinces me to go get Kara. <laughs> or goes after vengeance for Oh no. I'm sure that'll go well. Um Fun, fun fact: Pixies don't have any attack. Oh, that's that's interesting. Usually, fifth edition just like they go out of their way to give things attacks even if they don't need them. Pixies don't. They can they can polymorph into something that has an attack action, but uh, they natively don't have um, anything to attack with. <laughs> hmm. But. Give 
air dagger and let them go at it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the, I mean, the first thing I'll do is I'll go back to town, stay the night, go back to the to to Papa Devishka, uh, and give him the brooch. I'll be very like brief and curt. I'll I'll say like you know, she was dead. We we conducted the ceremony. Her spirit knows rest. Give me my money, please. Akira died. I'll take his chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will. Uh, um... I might try to I might try to turn the charm and milk that a little bit and say like, you know, you know, be like extra hazard pay, please, but I'm not going to try that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But I'll give him the brooch back. And as this so maybe, maybe someday we'll yeah. do a session for if you come up with any ideas. I have actually wondered, I've been Early on, when we finished when we finished uh, uh, the Tomb of Annihilation, I considered running a part two to that, where you two um, were the players. Um, and I and I wondered I wondered if Sean, you'd like to play. I don't remember her name now. The warrior. Um, hmm. what was her name? Le leukemia or something. <laughs> it wasn't that, but it sounded kind of like. The That would be kind of interesting because um, Daniel's character. Gosh, Daniel's character's died in that one too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. you have that. It, it was very trust. similar because Daniel's character died to like a, a, you know, a magic. It died to the big bad, and I yep. and I ran away. Yep. <laughs> Except in that one, I was dragged away, and in this one, I looted his body and flew away. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a recurring theme almost. Yeah. Well, uh, but yeah, I mean, I have ideas for for that. Um, obviously, if you had an idea for part two to to the again to the um, tomb of annihilation, I'd, I'd give you first first round because because it was your uh, baby but uh i think i do have ideas i just have i, I just they're not uh, uh, yeah and it would depend on what you guys find interesting obviously one of the core one of the ideas that i had with it originally was like oh what if what if the what if that warrior came because it feels like she would um but that's only if you would be interested in playing obviously as a she have to work differently. Mm -hmm. It would also be very high, <laughs> which I've never run. I've never run at that high level. That could be. Yeah, pod two would actually be pretty interesting because uh, the the tomb is still there. You guys didn't actually yep. take down the big bad. Um, no. So we, we would just spoil his plans. But things are going to be different. Yeah. So it's just like a second foray into the tomb, and then another yeah. attempt. But 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 later. Okay. It will definitely be later. Things will be different. Um, I might sort of obviously like you probably would be at a higher level when you come back, but I think I might just keep you at the same level that we ended at, just so it doesn't get completely crazy. Right. Right. Because I think we ended at like level eleven, right? So level eleven, twelve. Yeah. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm ready for like levels fifteen to twenty. Yeah. That that gets crazy, yeah. It gets really crazy. <clears throat> I am curious that how those work cool. though. Yeah. I feel like I'd like to play at those levels before. Right. Right. I did um, play I think I think I did play a level fifteen paladin once. <laughs> From what I've heard, those are 
those levels are more towards like the the one shot end of the world scenario. Mm -hmm. versus it, it takes a long time to actually level up a character that much. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I miraculously I have played a level fifteen paladin in a campaign, but I joined pretty far into that. Like they started at level three or something, mm -hmm. but it was long before I joined. And I joined at the late levels. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. But they, but it still kind of felt like a campaign. Even though. So that's right. Kind of. I miss that camp. The NPC that you guys found in the mirror um, was not actually a. didn't actually pass level. But I would be willing to do like a. Maybe we do it as an Eldritch Knight or something? Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking Eldritch Knight, Paladin, but it's like entirely up to you because because I imagine you'd probably be the one to play them. So you did. The, uh, and again, only if you find that interesting, if you have ideas for the character. Mm -hmm. No, that that sounds actually really, really interesting. I'd, I'd love to explore the the Tomb of Annihilation as a, as a player. That's really cool. And then Daniel, mm -hmm. you kind of have, would have free reign in terms of but the character of your reign. Pete, Pete is not. Actually, it would be kind of cool if you played Pete, but I don't <laughs> think Pete's going. I don't think Pete's going. No, I wouldn't want to play Pete just because I'd probably get him killed. Um, yeah, and, and it would be like it would be kind of. I, I, I don't think. I think I would be able to, to to just give you full control of the character, but I don't even want to. Attempt that like right. impulse in myself. Yeah, no. Uh, even you had a put good... myself in a situation where I might uh, feel like because I think I have kind of in the past had the impulse to tell players like what their characters would do, mm -hmm. which is not a good impulse. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and I know you so like. I don't, I don't you, even want to attempt. Oh. Yeah, you had a good Hagrid thing for him, and I, I'm like, ah, I can't do a Hagrid, <laughs> and. Yeah, I definitely want yeah. to keep that, but yeah, yeah, I'd come up with something. I, I think I think he I think he just wouldn't go. I think it was too much. Right. Right. Um, yeah. He would absolutely support an endeavor to go into the tomb and ask them to try to cover Pete's ashes, if that's possible. His spirit. Maybe maybe he's the sponsor. Maybe he remembers yeah. the team and is like, I'll hire... Yeah, work. maybe he worked his way up the ranks. Yeah. Hmm. I like that. He, oh, he had, like, a magic sword. Maybe he has, a, like, a like an Holy Avengers book gift to... I don't know. <laughs> I'll think about it. Nothing too crazy. I'm not going to make him... I'm not going to make him, you know, a superhero. Right. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. I have ideas. It's not I'm not going to ruin it any times because I'd have to. First of all, I'd have to read through at least parts of the Tomb of Annihilation <laughs> to understand what I'm changing. Change it. Yep. I guess if you have resources left over that you're able to. Shop. I don't know how you store your stuff. Um, Daniel, you actually bought the Tomb of Annihilation module. Right? Yeah, I did. I, I got I, it from. Yeah, I threw. Hmm. I threw. I put it on. I don't remember which account I sent it to or whatever. But yeah, I've got all the. I've got all the tokens and the maps and stuff. For the roll twenty yeah. module. Uh, can we give Ian access to the in nerd? Account? I don't see why not. It would be a little bit of a weird stretch, kind of a bending of the rules, but yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think that probably wouldn't buy two of an edition for the thing. If it, if if not, because I'm not gonna run to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll all think. And that tomb is that tomb is so crazy. It, it, it would I can basically make any change. 
Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, and it still makes sense. Yep. Yep. But definitely, I didn't. Uh, I haven't been working for like a full year to try and get access to your role playing. Oh, right, no. Nefarious <laughs> purposes. <laughs> This is definitely I mean, an idea, an idea that you have. Yeah, um, no, more, more than... Into your brain. Right, more than likely, it's... I, I just... I'd propose to, like, chip in for buying the module for your account, too. Mm -hmm. I would not be, be opposed cool to that. I'll think about it. I mean, the more love to Roll20 we can give, <laughs> we have to assume it's gonna... Mm -hmm affect the quality that we're getting out of it eventually. <laughs> the actual um the actual creation of of the account that kind of me and Daniel use was me wanting to pay for the expanded um the expanded features for the the dynamic lighting and so forth. Right. And, I mean, it's storage is the big one, right? Yeah. The thing with, like, sharing a Roll20, though, is that, like, you're splitting the cost of the upgrade, but you're also splitting the storage. Right. Which I feel like is the main thing, at least for me, that you'd be paying for, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. How, how, how big is the storage? I don't know what cost? happens if you store more than the basic account and then it drops it's... down to the base. It uh, oh you shit lose resources or oh no. How much? How much is the increase when you when you upgrade? How much um, storage do you get? Uh, I forget. I come up. Hmm. 